Hi guys, welcome back to Furnish Icon Academy. My name is Majide and I'm an architect and interior designer. Today we are going to learn on how to create a bed in 3ds Max. I'm going to use the version 2018, but you can use whatever version that you want. They are very similar. So the first thing you're going to do is go to toolbar and select extended primitives and create a chamfer box. After you are going to create that kind of chamfer box, here we have the parameters. So you are gonna press the length 250. The width would be 200. And the height would be 30. The fillet would be 2. Okay guys, so that's kind of the chamfer box we wanted. Okay, so after you are going to create that kind of box, you are going to select the move tool and you are going to press shift for selecting a copy. After you are going to create a copy and press OK, I'm going to see this kind of chamfer box, the copy one right here in front view. In front view, you are going to Select this and press the midpoint endpoint. Okay, guys, and you are going to select this and put it right here. After you do this, you are going to go to the top view and you are going to scale it. I'm gonna scale this one. Just like that. Except this, you are going to scale it in the other side also. Just like that. So the bed would be would fit inside. Okay guys. After that we would go to modify a tab and we are going to select the fillet. So the fillet segments would be on four just like that and after that we are going to create something like um, standard primitives box deselect this that kind of points and we are going to create this type of shape convert to a detable poly and we are going to select the vertexes and move just like this also it needs to be selected these two vertexes and move it just like that yes okay guys as you see the bed is taking its shape i'm gonna deselect this and move a little bit in front yes we are going to copy this kind of selection this would be 20 and we are going to delete the unnecessary parts from here I'm gonna delete and these both can be copied right here. I'm gonna press this. So, no, just a moment. I'm gonna take this right here. So guys, after that we are going to select all of these and we are going to go to modify list and press turbo smooth. But before that, we should make something here the length segments would be more like 20 20 and 20 so after that we can go and press cloth and after we press cloth we can go and press turbo smooth also both of these effects the turbo smooth would be interactions would be in one and the cloth would be object properties we are going to select all of these just like that the material or texture would be cotton 
and the pressure would be 15. Okay guys, after that we are going to simulate. If you see, it's going to take the shape for the bed. Okay guys, so let's create the nightstand. We would select a box and we would create a box with the parameters 50, 60 and 28. But this 28 I think is too much because we are going to create another one. So let's make, let's scale this one a little bit and that's enough I guess. And after that we are going to move this kind of nightstand and to make a copy. So let's see a little bit more scale, okay. Okay guys, so after that we are going to create a copy and select this kind of copy just right here and if this is editable poly, now we can select the vertexes, deselect this kind of okay and after that we are going to select these vertexes and move a little bit just like that okay guys so if you see here we have the shape but we have to connect two edges let's select this and this and connect them together and here it is this kind of let's select this this kind of polygon and let's go and extrude this one just like that yes and after that we are going to select again two edges this and this one and connect them again and move just like that go again select this polygon and extrude it okay we are okay now let's go and select edges again and connect them again okay after that we select the polygon and we extrude it just like this yes okay select the vertexes again and move them in the right place okay guys we are almost there select again the edges this vertical edge and this one and connect them again and move just right here and select the polygon this polygon and extrude this kind of polygon just like that again okay guys i think we are almost there let's go and see this type of color let's change it and okay it's edged faces let's do it again yes this okay if you see we are we are almost there with a nightstand we created something like a nightstand for the bed after that we can go and select this kind of box and let's convert to editable poly select this polygon just right in front of the nightstand and we can inset just like that and extrude a little bit okay guys so it's almost there so guys after that let's go and create a knob for this kind of okay let's create a knob for this one 
and let's move it just right here in the middle so here it is our nightstand for the other nightstand on the other side it's not so hard let's select this kind of let's grow this nightstand one and let's copy this one or mirror better mirror a copy let's say and move it on the other side so here it is our bed with nightstands okay guys also we need some pillows we would create also the pillows so we are going to go to the top view and create one pillow only and the second later so we are going to move this kind of box right here and after we select the gravity we are going to simulate it's okay I guess this pillow it's okay Let's rotate it a little bit more and bring. So guys, after that we are going to select this kind of pillow and press this button for moving and press shift, hold shift with your keyboard. And we are going to instance this, not copy but instance, because if we make a copy look, it would lose its shape and so we are going to instance this kind of pillow let's go and select this and press hold shift on your keyboard and in, after that we are going to instance this one and press ok we are going to select both of them and so make another copy select another copy and instance it but we are going to scale this kind of pillows in front yes they would be smaller okay guys that's it so now we are going to create a blanket so guys the blanket would be created uh, let's zoom this on the top view the blanket would be created with a plane let's create a plane just like that and let's see where it is let's move it a little bit higher in the level oops so guys this would be 50 the length segments and this would be 70 okay guys after that we are going to scale or rotate it we are going both rotate and scale let's see here we can scale it a little bit just like that and move and also rotate it just like that yes just like that let's move okay after you move it you're going to modify list and press shell and after that press cloth after we create the cloth in modify list we select this cloth cotton and the pressure would be four or five let's select five and add objects these objects this would be for collison okay guys after that we see the gravity should be on and we are going to simulate so here it is our blanket
Okay guys, if you see the blanket is done and it got its shape just like that. Hope you like it. And after that we are going to create another thing such as creating the materials of the bed. Let's move this a little bit just like that. Yes, it's fine. Now they are fine. So guys, we are going to materialize this kind of furniture inside. Let's start. So, um, press M for materials and you have to add some textures inside. Uh, I am going to add this texture right here, dark shiny, right here to this one. I'm gonna deselect edge faces and here it is but also for better view of this one I'm gonna select one of these and go to modify a list and press UV Y map and press the map Okay guys, after you press the map, you are going to select this kind of box and uncheck this real stay. Also with the others would be the same. We are going to select all of them and press the map and select the box and uncheck this real world map size. Okay guys, after that we are going to materialize the pillows. The pillows would be with, um, let's see, this texture, no, this one, no. We have to add some other textures also. Uh, so let's do the materializing of the nightstand. This would be white and this inside would be black, just like that. And this, the knob would be white. Okay, let's do the same with the other part. Let's go and select this white. This would be black and this would be white. Okay, guys, we are going to create also the materials of the pillows and it would be the same like this. This is a leather, something like that. And it's done. Um, the texture would be let's see the names unwrap checker this would be for the bed and this would be for this okay guys we are almost done this would be this texture and let's press the map inbox uncheck real size and maybe this would be 300, 300, let's see, yes, it's better I guess. So here it is our bed, we have this kind of materials and now with the textures and with the lighting we can make a rendering also, okay guys, uh, also we can, we, can, we can use this kind of texture uh, the material right here on the bed if you want this is beautiful also this would be um, 100 100 and 100 it, it needs to be a little bit maybe fine. yes now it's fine I guess so guys I hope you like the video this can be also the same color just like that to don't fall a little bit in the eye because we don't have such a gray color inside of these furnitures. Okay guys, so I hope you like the video. You can like and subscribe please for more videos by our channel. If you want to make a rendering of this bed with textures, please comment below and write a comment write a text where you can say that you want 
to make a rendering, a realistic rendering with lighting. So we, were, we would create a lighting for this scene and we are going to render with V-Ray. Okay guys, I think V-Ray is far the best one, far away the best one from the renderings and the most realistic renderings for furniture. So guys, hope you like the video. Please like and subscribe for more videos by our channel. Thank you guys and have a nice time. Bye bye.